Hello everyone, this is Alan from Technology Moments and the more we share our experience with cameras, the better of course for you. Today we're going to be showing you how our test ended with the Sinato 2K solar powered camera, the Model B6, which also offers panning, tilting and digital zoom. After having used it for a couple weeks, we are very confident to say that this may be a great outdoor camera for those of you who need to have surveillance at a place where electric wiring is not an option, that is the case of big backyards, warehouses, remote locations, parking lots and many more. The solar panel, also very convenient in places where many blackouts occur. While I show you the features, I will be showing you some videos captured by the camera. This is what you get in the box, you get the Type-C connected solar panel, the camera itself, a USB Type-C cable in case that you decide to provide power through a USB adapter, anchors for solar panel and camera, mounting templates and of course the instructions. Installation as well as the app setup could not be actually easier. For installation just use the included templates, you will just have to drill, use the anchors making sure that they have to be forced in place, use your driver and you're gonna be done. Do the same thing for the camera as well as for the solar panel. Ceiling mount is not available for this model, however the camera provides a 360 degree view, so I would recommend placing it in corners where such angle is gonna be optimized. Tilting of course let you manage over a 90 degree angle. Favorites will let you have up to 4 favorite positions saved in memory, so you will quickly point to where you want the camera to watch and record. However, we noticed a very small deviation sometimes. Before setting it up, it was necessary at least for us to charge the battery as it seems to be completely drained out of the box and the camera would not come on. So keep that in mind to connect it for at least 20 minutes before setting it up to any USB output using the cable provided. I usually do this setup on top of my desktop and close to a Wi-Fi access point. That way I make sure that it works and connects correctly without situations in which Wi-Fi will not reach the camera. The process is as quick as installing the app, adding the device, by creating of course an account, choose the brand, then the model, connect to the Wi-Fi just by following the instructions and give the camera a name, which is very important as that is the name that it will respond to from your Alexa devices. Experience with the app was fantastic, we had already used this app with other several models and even our pet feeder with camera. You'll have two options, local storage or cloud plans. We used it with 128GB microSD cards and it worked great, and access to recordings was fast. All the features are gonna be available here and as usual, the first thing that I might encourage you to change is the sensitivity of the motion sensor, which for this type of camera, an infrared sensor is provided in front of it. Otherwise, you might end up with clips not captured or when you download, missing footage, as it merges consecutive clips when you select. There are plenty of settings for this motion sensitivity feature from the app. Microphone, speaker and intercom in general works as expected, even if the camera is located at a high location like this 12 feet high installation. Controlling the panning and the tilting of the camera may have a small lag when you're away, and this may happen if you have a regular wireless connection to your provider. Nothing critical and being able to point to the direction that you want is a great alternative. Alerts to my phone worked flawlessly and so did to my watch. As most models today, it supports person detection or just motion. Sharing the camera is another option that we found very interesting for sharing with the family and it works very good, letting us choose each camera independently. The other party must have had an account already created. As for the skill, it works very well and may take a little longer to connect sometimes and as it is usual, it does not let me control the camera from these devices. Something that has improved a lot with this app is live feeds length in Echo Show devices, which were fantastic. They will let you monitor your camera if you're expecting someone to get home, something to happen or a package to arrive. Very interesting too to be able to have simultaneous users from different places being able to watch live feeds at the same time. Color night view is something that was also very interesting to see with these cameras. The option of having this white light support, which automatically will come on when needed, was something that many will find very useful. As for duration of the battery overnight, we did not find it to be a problem even in darker or shorter days. I hope this video was of great help for you if you're in the decision making process of getting a good PTZ camera. See you next time.